Tim Burchett back on the program. So Tim, I was supposed to read this big long script, but I didn't feel like it because I'm just so pissed off on a Monday. I got to come back and hear all this garbage happening in the swamp. And so right before we went to the weekend break, and you guys have been on vacation for like two weeks, the Democrats all of a sudden say, well, if Trump is elected because we think he's an insurrectionist, now they say they might not certify the vote. Now, wait a minute. Isn't that what Republicans were calling on Republicans to not do when we had the illegal election of Joe Biden in 2020 was to not certify? And didn't we get called insurrectionists for that? So why would Democrats say they're going to do the same thing if Trump wins this November? They can't stand the thought of uh, somebody holding them accountable. That's the thing that happened. Listen, this will destroy their base of power in Washington, this centralized uniparty. And you got Republicans that are afraid of it, too. They'll be the ones up there on election night patting him on the back and telling him how great he is. But he knows. And he knows these these departments are just chock full of of people that, that are, well, they're anarchists. They don't believe in our way of life. They hate our military. They hate our flag. They hate our God. They hate everything that this country's about. And they're doing their best right now to destroy it because they know if, if Joe Biden or whoever they get in there, they're going to be secure. But if they know if, if not, it's over. It is over. Because Trump knows. He knows who stabbed him in the back the last time. And I believe he, he realizes. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see a repeat of the first four years where, again, like anybody, I think on a new job, you make some bad hires. You trust some folks you shouldn't have. And Trump knows it. I've talked to him about it before. I'm like, you know, you've put some people in your first term in the wrong places. Why is that? Well, because friends or colleagues or people he thought he could trust told him, hire that guy, appoint this person, whatever. And, of course, they had ulterior motives. Um, let's switch to the budget quick because I want to know your thoughts on that. When y'all finally get back to work Wednesday after two and a half weeks off, will there be a vote and will Republicans hold strong and not approve that garbage Senate deal that still will allow thousands of illegals in daily? My, my thought on that is no border, no budget. Okay. I'll vote all down. I'm okay with that. That makes people nervous and but you remember Ronald Reagan had eight shutdowns, I believe, in his during his, his eight years. And um, I, I think that we need to hold them accountable. It's all you're showing it right there. It's about the money. Yeah. The Unipart, whoever you want to call it, the National Chambers of Commerce, whoever has wrecked this country with this out of control, no immigration policy. And it's laughable even that the president's even going anywhere near Texas. Yeah. Um, and by the way, know, Brownsville, I didn't pull it up on the map. But I don't think he's going directly to the border. He's no. going to a town close to it. Trump's going to Eagle Pass, where we saw, you know, 10,000 under the bridge at Eagle Pass. And now it's all calm and quiet, thanks to Abbott bringing in the guard. And they've moved over to California and Arizona is where they're pouring in now. So why the hell is Joe even going to Texas when that's not where they're pouring through anymore? Oh, that's right. It'll be a good photo op. Yeah. And those polls are showing that 85% of the Americans realize we got a real problem and they're having to address it. And they're realizing now just blaming Trump for everything. Well, and they're blaming it, you guys. Don't forget, Tim, they're saying you Republicans won't act. And because we've had no reform in decades and now you won't agree to this Senate deal, you're causing the problem that we're seeing here on camera. No, Joe didn't cause it three years ago. You did, Tim. You damn Republicans. Yeah. How, <laughs> how, and this this so-called bipartisan agreement, how many people say it? It's 5,000 a day before they will shut the border down. Now, how are they going to shut the border down? And why isn't he already doing that? You, the, you, you mentioned it in your monologue very eloquently, I thought, in his first, first day there in his mask, uh, doing away with all of Trump's controls that he had on the border. Yeah. Um, I ought to be running you for party chairman. I have a pretty good memory. That's about all I got and a big mouth. Other than that, Tim... I don't think I want to get involved in that swamp. You know, I tried it in 2018, got my butt kicked in California running in um, a Mary Bono's old seat. I don't know that I'll try it again. I think I'll just sit and be a big, loud thorn in the liberal side on this network right here. Tim Burchett, as always, pleasure. Thank you, sir. Dan, thank you for putting the truth out there, brother. America loves you. Thank well, you, brother. Thank you, and we better see a no vote 
from you and enough Republicans to stop that damn bill this week when you get back, okay? Yes, sir.